What's up, Team Crown? I want a day waiting to happen, waiting to sub. It's been a while, okay? I know, I understand. I promise more videos this month. And yes, more videos. Sorry for the wait. I posted some pictures on my um, Instagram page over the weekend and some people were like, you know, why do you still wear cap, you know, on, um, on YouTube? Why do you still do your videos with cap and all that? Is it your head? <laughs> I don't understand. I just like it. I just want to wear cap. It is my head. Okay. I want to wear cap in all my videos. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, guys. Ah, we have Asha in the news today. The goddess Asha. You know, I told you the last time that Asha is about to put out a song. Well, she finally released this song. The title is The Beginning and this song is amazing. Like I said, okay, the last time in my video, I said, I know I'm not going to be disappointed. Nice song. So many ways. You know, when you're classy, you know, it, it's it's something that is just in you. When you're classy, you're classy. You don't have to struggle to fit in. You know, anything. Attention finds you. You don't need to be controversial to get attention on social media. However, some people are complaining. Those people in the US, in USA are complaining that the video is still unavailable and they're shouting on social media that i shall please make this video available in usa yeah that is it about asha let us move on to the next news here we have moyo lawa moyo lawa is an actress okay not that you know popular but she's well known on youtube okay um she's well known on instagram <laughs> okay um there's a picture that she posted online and she was you know called out and what did she do she wants to gain more hips but and she photoshopped the hips i mean she already looked good she already have a nice shape and now she photoshopped it to look great but you know who suffered the most in this picture the gate the gate behind her was a little bit bent you know to the side ah that's a bummer too bad but she seemed not to care about what people say she replied a follower saying hips are fake hips are fake come and beat me well moyo you have been busted okay so just accept defeat madam you photoshopped it and I, I don't know why you photoshopped it now here we have good news our artist Borna boy <laughs> Bona Boy nominated, okay, for the BET Awards. It's not just Bona Boy, Mr. Easy. No, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like Mr. Easy, is it a right choice right now? You know, I don't know, but guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. But he has been nominated. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Bona Boy finally wins it, but I still wonder what Mr. Easy is doing on that list. Now, I, I realize, you know, after, you know, brainstorming and everything, I realized that um, this guy was focusing on the international level, okay? Focused on promoting his music outside of the shores of Africa, you know, in UK, um, USA. So, so he is quite known, okay, in the entertainment industry. He also performed at the Coachella, you know, recently. So this guy, whether you like it or not, it might not be that, you know, his songs might not be getting that much attention here. But trust me, this guy is promoting his music outside of the shores of Africa and is working for him. Not just mr easy here we have tenny tenny as well but it's on different category tenny was nominated in the best international act category why Bonner boy and mr easy were both nominated in the best international act category which is good amazing okay slim case made it known here that he's not a musician he's an industry hype man with hit songs good i'm i'm so happy that this guy finally clarifies this thing because i have a fan who asked me this question the other day that what would you call slim case a musician 
or just a hype man well finally here you have it he said he is an industry hype man with hit songs okay so that is it this guy has been in the industry he has been struggling like for over 10 good years before he got his big break okay and yeah he has worked with whiskey and numerous nigerian artists moving on to the next news here we have little but mighty rema i call him the don jazzy boy this guy is so talented he's just 18 years old he posted this recently and he said i remember when i did suffer you know spread out cash you know like dollars around him i mean how many so far you don't suffer people were just you know poking fun at him like how many so far you don't suffer you know this just made me remember when whiskey released first album among the songs that were, that were released was was olua loni okay olua loni or something i remember when <laughs> you know when whiskey released that song people were like are you kidding me whiskey you're talking about sofa. Do you know what sofa is? I mean, you're still a kid. How many sofa you suffer? I started on the streets, I know. I remember back in the days, I know. One this one shot on that same shoe. Every day, so we day hustle. We just trying to make a living. But bad man say them no like. Oh, sofa doesn't kill you, but makes you stronger. Now, um you know in the industry we've had people that have got this big break you know and they're still getting shows and all that people like part two ranking whether i like it or not they still have their own fans who still want to see them in shows and all that here part of ranking said that he was tempted to keep me to quit music before alubarica changed his life okay so yeah he wanted he said he wanted to quit music he was already fed up but you know finally he was able to work with um um timaya and that was it i noticed one thing guys notice that inspirational songs with good sounds okay sells more in nigeria have you noticed that you know i think it's because of poverty the nigerian street boy needs you know a vibe they need something to relate to when you say something about you know the struggles and everything how you struggle from down to top they want to enjoy that inspiration songs like able god you know waiting we gain and when this guy released alubarica as well part of ranking when he released alubarica people could relate to what he was trying to say because when the street accept your song trust me you will definitely get attention no matter how local your song sounds as long as the street accept it you're good to go okay let me give you an instance okay there was this guy that sang windek windek cabo snoop he was a cleaner in the studio okay he was a cleaner in the studio he's not a nigerian he was a cleaner in the studio he recorded this song he had this good relationship with the producer he recorded the song with the producer okay and the producer was like okay cool you know i think your song is not is not that bad then it was just through bluetooth and everything and this guy shared it with other people on the street and people kept playing the song and start sharing and they love it and it started from the street so if the street accepts you you're good to go when it comes to music so he didn't even go to any radio station to promote the song the street he grew organically okay so the street sometimes helps a lot and speaking about battle ranking it just will lose an album okay let us move on to the next one here we have arnold schwarzenegger the actor and former politician okay one time um the governor of california or something i hope i'm i hope i'm correct well this guy was attacked in south africa south african blacks uh, south african blacks i don't know they don't like to work i i have no idea why but i just personally personally i'm sorry okay i'm sorry that i'm saying this i love south africa you know, I love Mandela. I've got friends from South Africa. But trust me, it's not a country that I would really, really want to go. If I want to go to South Africa, I would have to think about it twice before I go to South Africa. I mean, I know they have good roads. They have, it looks good and everything. But there's just some crazy stories that you get, you know, from South Africa. And this is, these are happening. These are not just rumors. It happens. That's how Lucky Dube died. I mean, that's how they killed Lucky Dube. This guy was kicked. <laughs> Come, come, come here. Oh, yeah. Help me. I need a Lamborghini. Help me. I need a Lamborghini. Help me. I need a Lamborghini. Trust. Anna Schwarzenegger was kicked. Okay. Why was 
you know, in South Africa trying to promote sports. Okay, was at the sport event in South Africa trying to help you guys. Okay, it was in South Africa and this guy kicked him. Okay, I know so Zinnika reacted to that and here's what he said. You know, thanks for your concern, but there is nothing to worry about. I thought I was just jostled by the crowd, which happens a lot. I only realized I was kicked when I saw the video like all of you. I'm just glad the idiot didn't interrupt my Snapchat. And guess what this guy was shouting? He was yelling, help me, I need a Lamborghini. Help me, I need a Lamborghini. You can imagine what this guy was screaming. You need a Lamborghini. You don't even say you need a work. You need a Lamborghini. That's how this guy's Rob Lucky since Lucky since the death of Lucky Dube. I start to dislike South Africa. You know how can you kill? And that's what the Nigeria can never do. We don't kill our superstars. We don't. South Africans kill their superstars. An African country, even xenophobic attack on Nigerians because they said Nigerians are you know getting all the jobs. When you don't want to walk, look at this man now looking for a Lamborghini. You don't even want to walk, you want to get a Lamborghini as a gift or as a what? I don't understand these black South Africans. <sighs> well, that is it about that. Now we heard, okay, about the fight between um, Eniola Badmos and Uche Obodo. After Uche Obodo on her birthday posted a nude, posted some nude pictures. Um, those are yeah, X-rated pictures, and she was blasted for that. Okay, even when I saw the pictures, I was like, no, this is not too good. But I mean, it's her body, you know. So I was like, mm, now she's sabi now her body. But Enola Badmos came after her mocks Uche Obodo. Uche Obodo, okay, the actress, but they're both Nollywood actresses. She she blasts Uche Obodo because of what when came your loon lawyer, okay, put Enola Badmos on blast. Uche Obodo actually affirmed what she said that, you know, Eniola, Eniola Badmos needs to slim down. She needs to start eat, eating healthy food and all that. But it is more like a clap back, okay, for what happened in the past. Let's move on to the next news. Here we have Borna Boy. Borna Boy said, I'm leaving all social media platforms permanently. They are now all strictly for my show dates and new music. My social media will now be in the full control of management. Trust me, these days, social media is uh, very, very hard to use. What I'm trying to say is that it's getting crazy every day, you know, on social media. It's just too bad. Whatever, what is going on on social media is very, very bad. It's like you're exposed to a world of hate, okay? So you have to, you know, grow a, a, a tough skin, okay, to fight that. And if you can't, some people leave okay they just leave and so i understand what this guy is trying to say social media alone could change the way you think social media could even make you commit suicide there's a lot of things that social media a lot of negative things that he has done it also have good a lot of positive things and that is why giving it to your management it's the the perfect idea because it's going to help his music as well well here we have naira mali naira mali this news have been trending for a while you would you can't argue that with me okay most of you what i'm about to say most of you must have watched it you must have seen it but here as usual in most of my videos i will be giving my opinions and also some people might just be watching it for the first time who knows naira mali okay has been charged to court 11 counts charge 11 charges against this guy um the efcc released a statement a few days ago okay alerting the public that this guy has been caught and he will be arraigned in court very soon there were mixed reactions online some people were not happy that he was caught they said go after the real thief go after the real foreigners go after the real scammers the politicians uh, like I said, some people disagree with that and they were so happy that this happened. I told you in my last video that this guy would just be used as a scapegoat. But note, Zlatan has been released. According to reports, Zlatan, his car was seized and his phone was seized, but they've been given back to him. However, Naramali is still in EFCC custody as he awaits his court hearing. 
Okay, this whole thing has been going on for a while. The youths stormed um, the EFCC office chanting, Free Naira Mali! Free Naira Mali! Remember, um, before now, Mr. Jolov have said that those of you that have been pushing Naira Mali, why can't you come out, you know, and protest for his release? Well, now the youths are coming out to protest against that that Naira Mali should be released with immediate effect. Mali. Wait, I don't understand the way this country said they go again. Now, Nera Mali and Slata be the problem of this country. But risky way, come and say, may they know they call him bro, may they, they call him sexy baby. Waiting law enforcement, do one. I've been mean, not pass gay to law for Nigeria. I bet if you not do one, more and let us know now, nah, so that we will know where we did. Nera Mali and Slata won't know how nah, 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 many lives they don't touch. Nah, 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 many people they don't remove us for streets. Eh? I be people, oh, if both people call and say their money they lost. Oh my god. What did they have to say? Boko around, they they estimate, they 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 bomb both church and mosque. What you not do? Do not they fear to hold them? Eh? Now we face it be small, David, where he go liar. Oh. Not be our corrupt leader, they call the top. Can I just come off for my face? As is our move while they Move it! <laughs> But what do you guys think? After the Ramal is released, do you think this guy will be celebrated? I think this happens all over the world, most especially in the music industry. When artists go to prison or they go into the police custody, they come out a hero. Like, yeah, they come out being celebrated, irrespective of why or the reason why they were taken to court in the first place. This is what happens in the industry. Like I said, remember I told, I told you guys about the street. When the street accepts you, there's nothing that can happen to you that they wouldn't stand behind you. They will always be behind you. The way you see things when you're outside of the street is different from the way you see things when you are there. I just want you guys to know. Now, there have been report, okay, after that, that, you know what, Davido hired the lawyer and this guy was, you know, Zlatan was released, you know, remaining never Marley in the EFCC custody. Now, this guy, Aremo Gucci, came out to say that, no, it is not Davido, okay, he insinuated that it's not Davido, it's Olamide and Borna Boy, because there was news out there that Davido was the one who secured his release. They said it was Olamide and Borna Boy that did that. News to Olamide and Borna Boy, now these people show love where we needed people. Now then show love, Borna Boy and Olamide. Make anybody no go the bobo now on top gram, say, now one person call a lawyer, if you know no story, 
you know, after this whole thing happened, Davido got the news that Davido unfollowed Zlatan, deleted the post about Zlatan, you know, whatever. I, I still don't, I'm trying to figure out what would have caused this, like, you know, Zlatan also unfollowed Davido because I checked, they're, they're not following each other right now. However, when I checked Zlatan's story on Instagram, I saw that Zlatan posted Davido's picture and it showed um, with love emojis, okay? Well, it was Avramo Gucci, okay, on this Instagram celebrity that came out to say that that is a total lie. Anyways, he was blasted by Aloma DMW from Davido's crew, okay? They blasted him for that. Yeah, brother, if you don't say you contribute or anything to anything, brother, nobody send anybody to post anything to anything. But if you don't say you drop money and you feel like they don't put your name, they don't give you... Glory Sena, you be all this year. God da. They go calculate all the money. They don't scam your money or anything. Now you know. You know how much, how much they use bid them. Because now we they go every blessed day till they free them. God we see they go that place today because of Negaman. Anyways, Zlatan has a song, okay, about this whole thing that has been happening. Him being arrested by EFCC in Aramali. And he also talked about the people who he thought got his back, okay, in that song. He talked about people who he thought got his back but deserted him when he needed them the most. So what is he trying to say? Is he trying to talk about? Is he referring to David Doe? We don't know yet. Whoa, like I said, there was mixed reaction reactions online. Um, people like Timaya came out to say that. Naramali uses his mouth to invite trouble into his life. They call me Papi Chulo, Chulo, beautiful day out here. I'm just deep in my thoughts. What do I know? Have you noticed that everyone that has actually sang about death in real life has died? Have, have you noticed that? Starting from Biggie, Tupac, XXX, even to my brother, the Green. A gen see me if I die, not me or him. That's what he said. Just don't cry for me. He died and you know, and I'm just thinking about this my my brother Naira Mali. You know, in that Amai Yahoo boy video. No disrespect to anyone. He was arrested and the next day in real life he got arrested. What am I saying? I think the things we say to ourselves, the tongue has powers. We should watch what we say. The kind of words we use, what we act, or whatever. Because this life is spiritual. You know that? Respect. Love it. Well, that's Timaya right there. Daddy Shoki, you know, have something to say about EFCC charging Naramali to court. Let's watch. I grew up in the streets. I grew up, I went through a lot of things. I did some things when I was growing up. And you won't tell me that if a child is bad, we should kill him. That, that guys, maybe they might have done something in their past. But today, peop, young people, are, they have large young followers. Why not use them to be faces to campaign against what we are fighting about? You understand? If you, if you want to, because there are young lads that are growing, that in a, in a society where there is no job, no opportunity, but right now, music is the only opportunity that they have to express themselves. Why not use them than trying to destroy their career? You understand? The only place I have problem with them is that, see, I went through a lot. I cannot ask my child that I went through this, that you should do the same thing. Everybody works to give their child the best in life. There's nobody that does, uh, let me use this as an example. There's nobody that does a bad thing that will tell his child that I did this bad thing, go and do it. Here we have Orisha Femi as well. Orisha Femi said, Yahoo boys are no good to the industry. Orisha Femi, <laughs> he said Yahoo boys don't help and they haven't made any impact in the industry. Are you sure about what you're saying, Orisha Femi? 
because I disagree. Some of the money that you see out there is from Yahoo money. Well, guys, let's watch this video. Artists, Yahoo boy, don't buy car for. But you can you can see a lot of politician buying cars for uh, for artists, musician. You understand? You know there there was this controversy about this young lady about politician being you know how many Yahoo guys we do like that? You know let's call it spare the spare. Yahoo 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 ya ya for your own self, man, my brother. You're helping yourself. You're not helping other people. You know, a lot of people are getting this whole thing wrong. No, no Yahoo boy self. Yahoo boy is even helping them own self. You never help yourself in this now, artist, you can't help. My brother, let's be honest. The entertainment, these artists, they are struggling for their own aim. I mean, they are struggling by themselves. You know, make you no know, carry another person in victory, give another person, my brother. Me, as I did like this, no, Yahoo boy don't help my life before. I did tell you, I don't know whether they, they help other people. If they could help me, me, I go agree. Since we I know some of my friends will be Yahoo boy, they never helped me before. It's the godly truth. But they, they know they are the talk truth, reality. You know, me, I'm the really truth. Young man, whether you like it or not, you put a knife on my neck. I don't care, my brother. The truth is, if they can even try their possible best and put in this, all this, there, something where they put, come and put it in the industry, are we happy? <laughs> I don't know, since one and a half, one and a half Ghana, and they say other one, for Nigeria, with me, I never see where you are, but musicians. You understand? Because you see them still struggling. And you people are flamboyantly enjoying yourself, you know, at, any, at all time. You say you're happy. Which musician is the help? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I shut away when I help. I never help Nigeria. So that is it. The reason why I disagree with what Oje Femi said is because Yahoo Money is so much in the industry. You know, it's so, so much in the industry. Whether you like it or not, the show promoters, the name them. Most of them got their money from this means. I've said that in my videos, in one of my videos. They made it through that. Some of them made it through that. Some of the show promoters, any, some of those guys, they made it through that. And after making it, they start up a business, they stop. Some, of, some still continue, but some stop immediately, you know. I mean, we have some people in Dubai. We have some people in Malaysia. We have all these people. They call musicians to come and perform you know in dubai and they pay this musician sometimes they even use their connection to bring this musician over to perform you know or to do a tour <laughs> you know in malaysia or in asia or in in america this is what this this is where this money goes so if you me please understand that this is this this is real like i have to be real with you okay i can choose not to talk about that but i have to be real with you however okay there's still some real money going on there okay not just yahoo money okay not just that but there's still some real money going on there i still stand on it that yeah we've got yahoo money yahoo money has also you know helped the entertainment industry that's what if i'm to be real Okay, Idris Abdul Karim was interviewed recently by Hip TV, and guess what this guy said? He said he has used his career to fight for this generation. What do you think about that? Let's watch. For goodness sake, if I want to be the two faced Libya, I'll be singing the love songs. If I want to be the King Sonia Ade, I'll be pre singing, I'll be pre singing and praising Oba Sanjo and Co. But guess what? They will never like somebody like me. You know why? because I dedicated my song to be able to add value to the lives of people. Secondly, I use my career to fight for this young generation for them to be able to make money during the 50 cent show, which I don't want to talk about again. But I want you all to know that somebody fought revolution and the revolution is the reason why you all are making money today. So I've been able to sacrifice my career for this individual. Thirdly, Islam says that whenever you want to give, you don't have to show it on camera. Islam does not show it on camera. Give and don't let anybody know when you are giving. So do I need to come on social media and start talking about how many people I have shown so much love to? You all know them. They are there on the street. They all have even made names. So Idris Abdul Karim has used his career, has used his music to be able to add value to the lives of people out there. Okay, here's our picture of the day, the beautiful year, Miala Day. Oops, guys, check out Yemi Day. So that's our picture of the day, Yemi Day. Look 
so cute. Okay. Um, moving on is the question of the day. If you were paid for things you've done, how much will you get? Just list it in the comment section, okay? It's gonna be interesting to read. <laughs> well, for 2K is kissed, stolen meat from the port 1K, got drunk 5K, gone to the nightclub, smoked, um, wrote a love letter, had sex, kissed someone of the same sex, giving head, entered sex chat rooms on to go, played truth or dare, um, watched blue film, fell asleep in a class, had a crush on your senior, giving or received lap dance, went out without underwear. Well, let me know yours. Okay, let me, I know you guys want me to, okay, yeah, I will list mine, don't worry. Here is it. Kissed, hmm, yeah. Stolen meat from the pot? No, I have never stolen meat from the pot. Got drunk? No, I don't even drink or smoke. Gone to the nightclub? I haven't even gone to the nightclub. Smoked? No, like I said, I haven't smoked. Wrote a love letter? I don't know. A lot of people have written love letter, but I haven't. I don't have the time to write love letter. Had sex? Yes, I've had sex. Kiss someone of the same sex? You know. Giving head? Yes. G entered sex chat rooms on to go? Yes. Play truth or dare? No. Watch blue film? Yes, I've watched blue film. Fell asleep in a class? Yes, I fell asleep in a class. Had a crush on your senior? Had a crush on your senior? I think a senior had a crush on me. I didn't really have a crush, had a crush on senior while, while I was in secondary school. Well, giving or received a lap dance? Have I? I think so. Maybe once or never. I don't. I'm not sure. Okay. Went out without underwear? No. I, I don't even like that. I like covering my body. When I'm in my room, I can, you know, wear my boxers, but go naked walking? No, I rarely do that. Okay, guys, that's the fun time we have. Let us move on to the next one. So much for the jokes. Okay, okay here we have Stoneball. Um, I know most of you must have seen this. Fight book at the 20th edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, VGMA. Stoneboy pulls out a gun as Shatawali attacks him on stage. So Stoneboy was declared the reggae dancer artist of the year. And Shatawali rushed to the stage himself and his guys, unpleased or not pleased with what with the results. So they went on stage, stormed the stage, tried to attack Stoneboy and his crew, but the security came in. Now, my point is, Shatawali, why, why are you so unhappy? You know, that this guy won you know this Ghana artist of the year i mean reggae artist of the year why do you take it so so serious as it shatawali needs to chill okay he's a very good singer but he might just be losing fans such a, a talented artist who wants to kill his career just like that he needs someone to talk to him okay that's why as an artist when you're when you think you're too big you get a lot of things wrong you need to have a management that can talk to you. When you have, when you're in a management that can't talk to you, that you are even bigger than the management, there is a problem. Something is, you, your career might just suffer. Well, there was a, a someone that was interviewed after that. Okay, he said that you know that wasn't Shatawali's intention. Shatawali wants to go to the stage to congratulate, you know, Stone Boy, but he was misconstrued and they attacked him and all that. But I just want to say that. It depends on your approach. Maybe the way that while is, you know, coming at Stone Boy shows that you know you're about to attack me, so I need to attack back. The main motive of Shata going on stage was actually to go and congratulate him, but I think it was miscommunication. But again, I'll blame the security people. I mean, you are here to work. You don't need to allow anybody or whatever that had to happen on the stage, because at the top there, you guys have to take in charge of. So anything that happens, you have to be held responsible. I mean, that's what I saw. I saw that like, he was just going to just go and congratulate him, but it was miscommunication. But the show should not be dragged through this time. I mean, worst things happen in our world. Yeah. I mean, we've seen over and over. So this thing shouldn't take us back for us to hurt till this time. This should continue. 
That's but all. my point is, we were all here. My point is, we were all here. Yeah. We saw Shatter get up. You think it was right for him for him to walk all the way there? Well, that was that, that, that was why I said that it was miscommunication. His idea was to go on stage to go and congratulate him. Oh, here is a Ghanaian artist. I, I really don't know much about him. His name is. Adam. Okay, I stumbled on this video while I was doing my research about all these things. Before now, okay, he has said that Ghanaian artists would go to stage with guns, with their crews. They go to stage with their crews with licensed guns. That the security needs to the security needs to look into this. Guys, let's watch this video. But days when the there's something if I say right now, you'd be shocked. Do you know that nowadays when the artists go for shows? Do you know that at least everybody, every artist, their team member, one person has a gun? in this country now when we go for shows mm -hmm. somebody is strapped with a gun why does he have to be that way news why does he have to be that way i'm telling you really stuff that people on radio would not know mm -hmm. but if we go for shows nowadays at least everybody one team member has a licensed gun we, we, we would wait for something to happen before you come and say oh adam said it adam said it that we shouldn't be and we should just try to focus and make it happen and and people are allowed to do what they want to do that is fine but i'm saying me i don't encourage it i want to be brothers with everybody but for the person who doesn't want to see it that way i stay far away from you you guys need to chill okay Ghanaians. All you do, all you should be focused on is growing your music. I mean look at Shatawali that keep preaching oh i want to take Ghanaian music industry to the next level i want to take like is this how you take it to the next level well, this lady, Kaki is her name, she said that Shatawali gets jealous when it loses. Um, Shata, that Shatawali gets jealous and bittered. 2012. 2012. Same award category. Same award category. Shata, this is what you did to me. You almost attacked me. You almost... Just say, I was even uh, naive. I was even naive. You almost attacked me. But for God, I can mean me. What is the meaning of that? If you think, say, you deserve that award category, you work at it. You work at it and then you earn it. You don't come throwing tantrums like a baby. You're a baby. Stone Boy has won. He's won it. If he's won it and it's for the fifth time, hell yeah, work your ass out. Work your ass out. Your that is it about that. Well, one time announced plans to release his EP on the 31st of may yay run town okay that's good news uh, but run town said he can decide on hit songs you know run town has this thing going on with this former record label for seven months in court going back and forth for seven months well the court ruled in favor of run town congratulations to run town on that but now it's about time for run town to pick himself up he hasn't released any huge song that is you know even close to mad over you since that's happened that's part of the disadvantages of leaving a record label like um when you have this fight before leaving a record label that's what i'm trying to say you know that's that's kind of the disadvantage but here everyone town said in the studio many artists and producers only play their parts by putting in elements that they consider catchy but when the songs go out the listeners get to make the decision i only have control over the quality and level of truth that i put into my music and so far my instinct has never failed me people connect with my truth and that is what i owe myself and those who truly love run town yeah run town i truly love your song i'm a big fan so that is it that's why i'm gonna hold it today guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below okay let me know what you think do you agree or disagree with some of the things that i said okay and don't forget to answer the trivia questions in the comment section below thank you so much for watching until we see you next time peace